Hector Mendoza here again with a video. I want to show you how easy and fast it is uh, and how fast it is to create a long continuous uh, photo image of, uh, of a bunch of screenshots. Now I have a previous video is titled exactly like this one here. This one will be title number two. The first one goes into detail. This one here, I'm just going to show you how fast and easy it is. Uh, and once you learn how to do this, it's real, real fast. So here we go. I, I'm creating uh, a, uh, a new project using photopedia.com. I'm going to create eight and a half by eight and a half by 22 at 150 lines uh, dots per inch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Uh, let me make sure everything. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's the image. I'm going to start bringing in the the uh, screenshots. So I'm just going to move them and here. I'm going to bring uh, this thing snapping. There we go. Okay. So the next one. Bring him in about right there. And right now, all I'm doing is creating everything that has to do with safety on on, uh, on your drone settings. So. Once we get into the other area, I'm going to start bringing in this images. Uh, they're still talking about safety. And let me see here. Looks like I still have more images to bring in. So look, so what up? See, there's not enough room for this one here. So what I'm going to do is Go in here and go to my image canvas size. Uh, I'm going to click here. I want to go into inches and I'm going to change that into 30. And we can, we'll be able to adjust that later. Hit OK. They gave me some canvas size. And I believe that's the last one for this particular kind of uh, settings. Oops. Uh, PNG and this one looks like it's talking about let me see here controls yeah because you see that's the last thing on safety so I don't need that one okay now let me go in here and what I'm gonna do is go in here and uh, merge everything flatten it uh, go in here and start uh, I actually don't need, let me get me some more canvas, so I should be able to uh, yeah, close that, make this a little bit bigger, and here we go. I'm going to get myself a guide right before disable, and then I create my selection from here. All the way to disable right above it. I delete that. I'm gonna um, grab this uh, guy and put one there. Put one right here. Go ahead and uh, select, delete, go down. Uh oh, that's too close over here. It always oh, didn't snap to the uh, to that guy here. There we go. And then go down. Uh, So I'm going to delete from here to uh, here. Oh, I can do 
get a little bit more. And now I just got to bring it together. I'm going to remove that. Oh, excuse me. Let me go ahead and move him to do a selection right in here. B to move it. Oh, it says the layer's locked. Okay, so we need to go into the layers and unlock that layer. Okay. So this. Turn that off. B. Pinch it up a little bit. M to select. Oh, I don't want that scroll right there. So I'm going to hit uh, V. I'm going to reduce it down a little bit here. V to move it. Use my arrow keys to move it up. And, oh, I want to snap it to the left. And then, oh, it's not, come on. Here we go. Uh, move it up a little bit. Down in here. And I'm uh, going to hit the M for selection. Start from about here all the way to here. Hit V to move, and get on top of that other line that I don't need. Then I'm just going to inch it up. Okay, so it's selecting some of the white. So Control D to deselect, M to select. Start right here. That way I grab that black instead of just uh, clear. Okay, I'm going to hit control, not control, just V, so that I can move this selection. And let's inch it up a little bit. I still keep on uh, deselect. Um, I keep on hitting the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw me a guide. That way I make sure that I don't grab that white line no more. Okay, it'll snap to that uh, grid, uh, the guideline. So let's hit M to select. It should snap to that B. There we go. Yes. Okay. And Control D to deselect. They got out of the way. Control zero. Oh, we got another one down here. Um, M to select. And I don't want this. Scroll. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, that's the last one, so I'll go ahead and put this scroll button there. B to move it, snap to the left, pinch it up a little bit till it disappears. Uh, can remove this. I need to remove it this way. Remove it this way. And then all, uh, I'm going to deselect. All I'm going to do is see how uh, what the size is from the top to the bottom. 
I don't need this no more. I can make this uh, larger. And so I'm going to hit my M for selection. I'm going to start at the front top. And so at the bottom would have to be approximately uh, 30, 40 pixels. So I'm going to go to image canvas pixels and uh, set 30 40 right 30 40 okay there we go that's the size of the image now uh, what I didn't like about the first one I did it at a low resolution this one here is higher resolution because I picked eight and a half by 11 and I picked the 100 line uh, 150 pixels per, per inch now I'm just going to save this by hitting Control S, and it's going to ask me what I want to name it. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to save it, and uh, if I wanted to bring this into uh, a Word document, I would go in here and export it by going File, Export. Um, that's a PDF. No, no. Let's use JPEG. And we're going to keep all the settings, 100%. Uh, and then we're going to hit save. It's, it, the save comes down here. Okay, so you're going to click here, show on folder. Oh, and uh, and it is. brought it to my other screen so here it is right here now if I go in here and bring this into a word document the, the resolution is going to be better than the one that I created in that other video so I don't need that. Uh, bring it in here Yeah, look at the quality of it. Yeah, that's a lot better. So I can enlarge it real huge, and it's not blurry. All right, guys. Uh, so if you want to see how I really did all of this, I have another video uh, that's called Create a Long Continuous Photo Using a Free Photoshop Editing Software. This one is number two. So I hope you watch, uh, like this video. And I'll see you on the next video.